Hey guys, it's Tech Genie here, and uh, today we're going to show you how to update your phone to Android Lollipop. So I am currently using the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 GT i9 100. Your phone may be different, so make sure you know what model number your phone is. I'll quickly show you how to work that out. So if you go into settings, scroll down to about phone, you can see model number, and you can see mine is the GT i9 100. Um, I'm currently running CyanogenMod, Mod, and what we're going to do today is we're going to update from Cyanogen Mod 11 Android 4.4.4 KitKat to Android 5.0 Jelly Bean. So, um, now that we've found out our model number, the best thing to do now is to back up everything on your phone. Uh, I currently have nothing on my phone, but if you do, um, uh, photos or whatever, you can go to Titanium Backup. Um, and this will back up your apps and all of your app data. So if you're partway through a game uh, and you don't want to lose your progress, just go into Titanium Backup, select the ones you want to back up, and there's all these types of different backups. I'm not going to go into detail into that now, but it will back up all your apps and your data. So what we want to do is we want to find the ROM to download and the Google Apps called Gaps. Um, so I'll put the links into the description as to where to find these, but we're going to update to CyanogenMod12. So go into uh, Google and type in Cyanogen Mod 12 for your phone device, a GTI 9100. Okay, so now that we have downloaded the ROM, we want to download the Google Apps or GAPS. And this allows us to then have uh, things like Google Play and everything on there. So I'll put the link in the description, but all you want to do is type into Google, Google Apps Lollipop. Uh, and then you come to this page uh, here. Uh, and t type in your device and uh, uh, model number again and all you need to do is do download um, I'm not going to click download because I've done it but the same thing comes up it just says starting download and it will download here um, and what it will do is now I'll show you what we need to do from here what it will do is it will place it under uh, downloads surprise surprise um, so you can use any sort of file browser I just use CyanogenMod's uh, custom file manager you can use ES File Explorer I do recommend it very much so you go down into downloads and uh whoa okay um so these are the uh so these two here are your rom and the gaps so you, what you want to do you want to select those move selection ignore that that's not really important uh go to oops, let's not put it back in the same place sd card um and i'm just going to paste them here in the sd card so here, this will take a while, so we'll come back uh, when this is done. Okay, so now all the uh, things are in there, they have now downloaded. Uh, so what we do now is we reboot into a recovery mode. So you just power it off. Um, for my phone, you have to hold down the power button, the volume up, and the home button to access this. Um, so what this mode does is this is the uh, module to allow us to install stock ROMs and download zip files. Let me just unplug this for the moment. Um, yeah, you have to make sure your phone has a lot of charge in it, which mine currently doesn't, which is why it's been plugged in. So you boot it up by holding volume up, power button, and the home button to allow us to get into the module to install custom ROMs and download zip files. So this shouldn't take too long. So I'm just going to plug it back into charge. Okay, so what we do now is we have to wipe data and factory reset. So you make sure you've backed up everything on your phone, like I said. So scroll down using the volume down uh, and scroll up using volume up and then power button to select. So wipe data to factory reset and yes we want to wipe all user data. Okay so we now want to wipe our cache partition um, this just gets rid of all the cache on the phone, so then the software doesn't interfere or nothing interferes with the upgrade. So you don't want anything interfering, so we just wipe all cache. Um, so again, wipe this. Don't skip out any of these steps, otherwise it won't work and you'll have a massive problem on your hands. And there's no reason to skip it, because it doesn't take very long. So then scroll down to Advanced, Power Button to Select, and then we want to wipe Dalvik Cache. Again, just wiping more cache. So there you go, you are done wiping everything that you need to wipe. So now we need to install the um, ROM and the new operating system. So we install the zip, and this is why we installed it from the SD card, because on the SD card 0, that is the internal storage, there will now be nothing there because we've just factory reset our phone. So this is SD card 1, 
um, power button to select and here we have CyanEngine Mod 12 unofficial i9100.zip uh, that's the one we want, yours will say CyanEngine Mod 12 unofficial and then your model number .zip, so that's the one you want to install first so power button to select and yes we want to install it this process usually takes about five minutes to load so you can see it's doing something there's a progress bar here that will update while you are going along and you can see it's doing stuff because the Android is having Android time so yeah what we're going to do is we're going to speed this video up uh, and we'll show you what happens at the end okay so we're going to install our gaps now so here you can see uh, gaps LP for lollipop 2014 signed um, let's hope this one this works so yes install okay I have had some problems with gaps in the past so if you get any problems leave a comment below and I'll try to help answer it so yeah install from SD card complete now here's a little uh, piece of advice for you if you um, are doing this make sure that you install on your SD card uh, some backup gaps so if you look under here SD card I've got lollipop gaps and I've got a load of gaps here that may work um, if they don't if it doesn't if the one that I've installed doesn't work um, so if the gaps that I've given you in the link in the description don't work for you download some other gaps as well onto your SD card beforehand before you do this procedure if you get to this point and it comes up with something like status 7 error if you get a status 7 error then um, uh, here's what you should do. You can boot your phone up, so you can go to uh, just reboot system now, set up your phone and then install some uh, gaps, although it will not uh, be able to connect to the Google Play Store. Although that is a bit of a faff and I do suggest investing in uh, one of these. This is a multiple slot uh, card reader. I don't know if you can read that. I will put a link into the description as to where you can buy these, but it basically just has a micro SD card slot, so you can plug this into your computer download some gaps if this problem happens and then put the SD card back in and then continue from where you left off um, so yeah that way you don't have to have such uh, so much faff but it worked for us so let's see what happens so we're going to reboot the system by pressing power button to reboot and it is now rebooting this uh, will take a while to boot up because it is the first boot of the new operating system um, so this is CyanogenMod Mod 12 and if you look at the uh, boot animation you can see yep, that they have tried to make it more materialistic like the lollipop theme um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to let this load um, and then we're going to skip ahead to what happens but this will take about five minutes to do so don't get worried if it doesn't work okay so once you've done all this the process completes this is the screen that you will reach so let's just set it up now searching for Wi-Fi. As you can see this is a very different uh, layout to what it was. I'm just going to take this out uh, screen so you don't see my password. Okay so I'm just going to skip through these things uh, just to show you what it looks like and then I'll set it up myself later. But here we go, sign engine mod. Start. So the um, usual thing telling you how it all works so yep got it. Uh, nice transitions and very fast speed so here, I'm just going to turn my uh, go into data. I'm just going to turn that off. Tells you how much data you've used. And you can set warnings and things. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have a go and have a play around with Android Lollipop, see what I think of it, um, and then I'll post a video another time or later on for you guys to have a look at and see what my uh, initial thoughts are for this. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you want to see some more videos on Android Lollipop and this sort of routing thing um, subscribe to our channel and you'll be the first to know about uh, all these videos that come up we also have if you're interested in programming uh, a, um, a new series called the fruits of programming about how to program um, on a raspberry pi um, so subscribe to our channel to see those don't forget to like this video comment uh, so see you next time